In this video, I'll be showing you how to get the Spot robot working in Unity and connecting it to ROS using Unity Robotics Hub. So first I'll go up here to the Package Manager and I'll show you ROS TCP Connector version 0.5 and URDF Importer version 0.5. I'll exit out of that and then go down to my Spot URDF, right click it, and click import robot from selected URDF file. Next I'll import it. And here you can see it's in the scene. Next I will name this spot one for something for later. And then I'm going to add a plane below it so that it can walk. Next I'll add a material that's easier to look at. Then I'll make the plane bigger so that it has more room to walk. Then I'll select the spot robot and bring it above the plane. So now, if I click play, you can see that the legs just kind of pop off. So I'll go to the spot game object, open up the body, and what we'll need to do is disable the collisions on the body and the right hip, left hip, and so on. So just those four hips. So to do that, we will open up collisions all the way until we get to body collision zero and disable the mesh collider. Do the same for the four hips, going into the collisions, going all the way down to the collision zero and disabling the mesh collider. So now when we click play, the legs just kind of fall off. So the next part is we're going to want to reorganize the spot game object. So what we'll do is we'll take the base link and put that in the spot. And then we'll put the body in the base link and then put the rear hips into the rear rails and the front hips into the front rail. Now highlight the rear and front rail and put that on the base link. Next we'll click the base link and make sure is base link is checked and uncheck the body is base link. Now when you click play, the robot should just fall like that. Next we'll add the scripts. So let's remove this controller script from the spot robot. Click add component and type joint attributes and then set the stiffness to 1500, damping to 100, and force limit to 1000. These are values you'll want to play with to see if you can make it any better. Next, I will add a game object, and we'll call it Spot Controller Scripts. And in here, we're going to add component, type Spot Controller, spot controller input, and spot joint position subscriber. Next, what we'll do is we'll go to the spot controller, open up the joints, and type 12. And we are going to name all 12 of these joints in a specific order. So first being front left hip, then front left upper leg, then front left lower leg, and I'll speed this up and you can stop the video at the end to see what all of them need to be named. Next you'll want to go up to the spot robot game object and go to each corresponding part and then go to add component and then add articulation joint controller and do that for all of them. Then once you're done with that, you're going to want to go to the spot controller scripts and add each corresponding game object to its name. And that's all you need for that. 
So basically, the spot controller script is controlling each of the articulation scripts by updating the angle the joint needs to be at um, from the commands sent from Ross. So next what we'll do is we'll go to resources, add our Ross connection prefab, make sure the IP address is correct, and now I will bring up my virtual machine. And here I already have set up the Ross TCP endpoint endpoint.launch. And I'll just hit enter. Then press play on Unity and check my virtual machine to see it's connected. And then I'll play this Ross bag file, which is sending joint commands. And as you can see, the robot is moving. So this robot might not be moving the same as the real spot robot, but that's why in the spot one game object, you need to kind of play with the force, the stiffness and dampness values. So now I'll hit the stop button, go back to my virtual machine, end this process, and I'll show you, this is a work in progress. So I'm using the soft serve SAG spot simulation to send commands to the spot robot via ROS. And they basically do this in Gazebo and have a paper on it that you can read. But if you go down to the Ross launch RS underscore inverse, inverse dot launch, and the Ross launch RS base quadruped controller, and the Ross launch teleop legged robots. So I'll bring those three launch scripts up into three different terminals. And in the teleop legged robot, you're going to want to name the robot spot one and also do that in the inverse. So let's run the connector, press play, and then run the inverse script, the quadruped controller, and then the teleop controller. So as you can see, if I start to try to move forward, it doesn't move very well. So this is a work in progress. Um, but if I try to go backwards, it works pretty well. Um, so backwards works. And if I move in closer, you can see that I can move the robot up. Oh, it's down, down and up. I can also make it move forward, backward, and side to side. So this is a work in progress. Uh, let me know if you figure out how to get this working. I think the problem is something with the virtual machine and the GPU. Um, so I'm going to try to get off this virtual machine. So that's it for the spot tutorial. Let me know if this helps.